so this is now my input first input you can say that so you can use it so x and y and z x and y is the input and z is an output now use the command for here for using the multiple regression analysis uh, is actually not the polyfit now now you have to uh, use a new command which is called the regress so you have to construct the input input is using this command the size of x it will give you the ones it, you can even use the new variable x y even you can use the product of x and y so you can take anything as your variable and it will give you the coefficients of that variable so if z is treated as your output so you can use the regress command with z comma x yeah this is the coefficients it means that z is treated as there as a constant intercept so it means you can say that this one is multiply plus is multiply constant 0.0598 is multiplied by x plus 0 0.5830 multiplied by y minus 0. 6340 is multiplied by x into y so this is your uh, the fitting curve and obviously it's a three-dimensional so i'm not going to check it but the problem is the same if you're using this regular command it will not give you the standard error this directly you have to calculate it you can calculate this formula is available finding root mean square error and the uh, step but if you use the same excel with this so it will you can see that it will give you the same results which is given by this mapper but with the extra some features is uh, you can get it so what do you wish firstly you have to draw uh, x you can just copy this in the new column and what do you want you want x into y okay so no issues you want x into y just multiply this with this and just enter it so this is uh, your x variable now you want, want this z as a function of this even the intercept so just go for the database and just go for analysis regression click on this this is your main output so have this as output this is your main input have this as an input and output on the same sheet yeah this is your output you can see that this is the standard error and r square just this r square error and these are the coefficients and if you compare the coefficient with this yeah it's the same obviously the both are using the same thing the regression but the problem is that using MATLAB you are not getting the regression statistics directly you can use your commands but in the Excel you can use everything you can get everything if it's if you wish to increase uh, this uh, even you wish to add more column and insert it and if you want X scale also so it means you are want the scale of these things so you can directly write scale go to regress click on ok this this is now your output and you click on this this is your full as the input and put as the enter override the data so this is thing you can see that your error is now going on decreasing as you are increasing the nonlinearity in the curve so it will give the lesser error obviously when you go to the R scale or this is R scale, this is important because you are using the multiple regression analysis. So its value is if equal to one, it means yeah, it's a best fit. So Excel will give you uh, the sufficient uh, accuracy and sufficient database which you can use in your research paper. So this is uh, the small comparison with the MATLAB with two commands only, but MATLAB have some extra features. 
so what is the extra the MATLAB has is the toolbox that is called the CF tool if you this is called the curve fitting tool and there is another tool called the surface uh, fitting tool but I'm using this curve fitting tool and this is very beneficial you can uh, it will give you everything like it's you can see it's better than the using Excel the toolboxes in the MATLAB is comparatively uh, better than uh, using the Excel so you can see that the same database is available if you go for this X is here as the input if I go for Z which is actually your output in this uh, database and when you click on this uh, you can see that it will automatically uh, fit the curve yeah you can see that the same results which we have earlier uh, got from the excel or even from this metal the same result with this x or y so this is the beneficial thing that if you go on using this toolbox it will give you everything which the which the the same thing is given by your excel so use this command cf toolbox so if you go on changing the degree of polymer it's uh, basically a graphic user interface you just go and see the behavior and you know that as you go to the seventh polynomial the degree of the polynomial it is the best fit even to go for eight it will give you the coefficients lot of coefficients but you can see that it's close to one your root mean square error which is actually given by the standard error uh, there in the uh, excel which is called the root mean square error here it's approximately zero when you give eight obviously it's it's will be zero so when you using the same curve it's not applicable you know it's ask is one but this is the best fit the polynomial but the problem is that polynomial has lot of coefficients so this is the option here custom equation so custom equation is is the is default is the uh, here is the exponential based now you can see that the curve is like that it will as you go on increasing the value of x it asymptotically goes to zero so exponential is seems to be a best fit but I have to check whether it will converge or not the fitness competition did not converge fitting is not good as per your database so I'll go for changing the some parameters if I go to change this I'll have to wait yeah it seems that it is it's something like this but obviously it is not a best fit so what if you have some uh, knowledge of the curves you can include the X here and just watch down you can see that it will asymptotically approaches to zero with X multiplicity and you can see the error is 0 0.05 it's close to one so I think this is the best fit rather than using the polynomial you can use exponential the unknown is only two your confidence interval is 95 percent and it is decent enough and the error is this so this is the extra thing which the MATLAB have you can even use other things exponential for Gaussian curves normal distribution and linear fitting and anything you can use even the power fitting you can use so basic and default set is given if you go for the power you can you have to use the two is default otherwise you have to make your own function so this is not a best fit so for this set of database custom fitting you can delete the c so you don't want the c if you have c and if you was unknowns is now increase so it will take the value of c close to zero then only it can give also give the solution yeah you can see that if you have the C unknown, its value is close to 0 0.05. So this is uh, the extra thing with the curve fitting. And you can even go for the third database also. Like if I put Y as variable here and Z here. So it now I am moving to the three-dimensional version. So three-dimensional version means that uh, it will give you the three-dimensional plot. So you have to, yeah, you can see that this is your plot this is the scattered data you want this plot and the inner inputs put here and goodness of it is given by this so maybe your database is not uh, good enough for this fitting 
so here you can use your old polynomial fitting you can use it so yeah this thing the same thing is given by the excel in the next data set here so what i what i wish you can plot this if you if you use this default like degree is 2 here so it will take the all the combination of this your database and you can uh, fit the curve and even the custom fitting is custom equation is available so science care cost care option is available here so you can use it it will give you the best fit also so for this if you like this video you can subscribe to my channel scientific runner so have a nice